What's going on, everyone? I'm Lem, and this is Lem Levity. It looks like the entanglement, if you will, of Will and Jada has gotten a little more interesting. Perhaps there was not an entanglement because as of uh, today, we heard from Jada Pinkett Smith in her interview with Hoda on the Today Show that um, her and Will have been separated since 2016. What this means is, and we're going to look at it in just a second, but what this means is that the whole all this crap that Will has gone through as it relates to the slapping, trying to protect this woman that he was no longer with, while they are still married on paper, she shared that they're separated overall, but they just don't want to go through the legal process of it. Supporting her, defending her with the slap, which damn near careened, it definitely careened his career, but almost ruined his career. Uh, sitting on the red table talk, looking like an idiot, crying with a meme that went around. <clears throat> when everybody watched what seemed to be her, his wife Jada, admit to screwing some young boy that was living with them and him having can not being able to do anything about it. We felt for him. We 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 empathize, sympathize, sympathize, not empathize, sympathize with Will and that. So they Will and Jade, I was they both are more culprits. They both taking us on a roller coaster of emotions and support and non-support throughout the years. And since 2016, they have even haven't even been together. And it makes sense. I did a video on the real estate insider go check that out i'll put the link up somewhere and also at the end of them buying a home i think it was in 2020 or 2021 in hidden hills over where where dwayne wade gabrielle union kim kardashian french montana madonna and all of them stay right and i'm thinking uh i said gabrielle union and dwayne wade i think in them too and also Jaden has a house over there they bought a new house and i'm thinking all right, they bought a new house. They, they're moving on. They want a house over in Hidden Hills for the privacy of it all because the main house, the main big old house is over in Calabasas, in like the hills of Calabasas. And they spent $11.3 million for this house. It's April of 2021 it has six bedrooms, nine baths, 10,400 square feet. If you want to see the full tour, again, go over to the Real Estate Insider to check that out. And I wonder who's staying there. That's why they bought this house. That's why they dropped $11 million on a house. One of them is living over there. And I looked, did my research, touched through Instagram, through the social media. So it looks like uh, most of the background looks like Jada is still in the big house, which they were remodeling and redoing. It's huge, about 20,000 20, plus square feet. Huge Adobe style, Pueblo style house, right? And um, Will's background, I think a few videos I saw, maybe the background of the new spot. So I think Will is in over by Dwayne Wade. And Jeffrey Star, where Jeffrey's always be, and, and and the Kardashians, Chris and Chloe, and all them. He's over there with them, and she is uh, still over in Calabasas. Quite interesting. And 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 they they've kept this tight lipped. I'm sure the family. I'm sure Will's ex wife knows, right? I'm sure she knows. I'm sure, the, and the kids, of course, know. So it's it's interesting how they were able to keep this quiet. How do we feel about them leading us on? Leading us to believe they were still together. I think it sucks. I think it's crazy. But anyway, let me let you hear a little bit of what. Let's, let's look at it. Let's take a look at it. Let's look. Let's look. Kept secret until now. There are so many surprising things in the book, but the thing that surprised me the most that I actually had to reread it because right. I said, "Is this true?" Right. Was that in 2016, you? and Will decided that you were going to live completely separate lives. Yes. It was not a divorce on paper, right. but it was a divorce. divorce. So from the year 2016, which is seven years ago now, <laughs> yes. y'all have been apart. Yeah. Interesting, right? But in public, the couple who married in 19... Very interesting. That they've been apart. It makes it makes somewhat sense now. Hold Watch on. what happens live with Andy Cohen was taped a year after Will and Jada separated. So yes, how long have you guys way. been together? Uh 23 years. Wow. wow. That's amazing. Yeah, how do you keep it hot? 
What's the thing? Um, how do I keep it hot? Uh, you know, uh, maybe I, I don't know. <laughs> you don't I mean, know. I'm baffled, really. Yeah. Yeah. Over the next several years, Jada and Will kept up the appearance of a committed married couple. They even faced a scandal when Jada had what she called an entanglement with a family friend. Neither let the public know they had already split. So I guess my question is, I feel like you're a straight talker. I am. No, yeah. Except you're not sometimes. Yeah. So why do that? Like, what was the reason? I think just not being ready yet. Mm. Still trying to figure out between the two of us. Yeah how to be in partnership, right? And in regards to how do we present that to people, you know? And we hadn't figured that out. During our walk in Baltimore, Jada reflected on their breakup. Why did the relationship fracture? Oh, uh, why it fractured, that, that's a lot of things. Yeah. And I think mm -hmm. by the time we got to 2016, we were just exhausted with trying. I think we were both kind of still stuck in our fantasy of what we thought the other person should be. Oh. Wonder if this has anything to do with her coming out with this now, this book. She come out with a book, by the way. Book, this whole being willing to come out now, because they haven't been willing to come out all this time. But now they are. But, but why? Why? Is it because of the whole Tupac thing that just came out? Is that why she's talking now? I mean, I guess the book probably. She, I'm sure she's probably writing the book before the end. But it's just ironic. Right when we hear about Keefe D getting uh, arrested for the Tupac situation, that now she's willing to come out. And we all know that she's always been in love with this with a man that's been gone forever. Somebody that she knew as a child, as a teen. She's been so madly in love with a person that's been gone that she met and she knew. Which is very odd for a 50 year old woman, in my opinion. Very odd. And a lot of this stuff makes sense. When that video of, v of Will, when he got pissed off because she was trying to video him and he was like, it'd be nice if you would videotape me without my permission or something like that. That makes sense now. Y'all remember that? That makes sense. If somebody, he was either at her house or he was at, she was at his house and she was overstepping the line. That's why I, I understand now why he got upset. But they played it off real well, like just like a, a battling couple still. But they are still married, I guess. That's still that's the element. They're still a married couple. That's where it gets interesting. They just a married couple living in separate places, not having anything to do with each other, but other than in front of the cameras, acting like they're still together. But Will ass is all over the world all the time, is he not? Bali and all different places. He's never at home. This makes sense. It makes sense. Let's continue. See if there's anything else. Jada says she considered a legal divorce, but could never go through with it. I made a promise that there will never be a reason for us to get a divorce. We will work through mm. whatever. And I just haven't been able to break that promise. Mm. But you still live separately. We live separately. I have so wow. many questions. So do I. I have so many questions. I have so many questions too. And I think it's, <laughs> God, it's stupid. I mean, I think, I think it's lies. And of course people can do what they want. And I understand people get married. I'm, I'm a divorcee. So I understand that Sometimes the whole divorce process is very difficult and stressful, especially in the public eye, I would presume. Um, so I get it. I think it's just weird that we were forced to go through a range of emotions as it relates to some of the goings on that they had, that they experienced in front of the cameras, in front of us. <clears throat> and they let us go through those range of emotions, thinking they were together, thinking he was really defend, he was defending her, thinking thinking she, he, she was doing him wrong by screwing uh, I guess I've seen it with the entanglement. It's just a lot. Well, just, I'm just one person's opinion. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I'm Lamb. This is Lamb Levity. Till next time. Peace out.